It's just above 42 degrees Fahrenheit, damp and raining, on a Thursday night in March when volunteers Katie Williams and her eight-year-old daughter Jillian don reflective vests, grab their flashlights, and come out to assist the spotted salamanders and frogs across a busy road near Ithaca. We're out at Thomas Road helping the amphibians cross the road. They would get run over to get to their vernal pools to lay eggs. Volunteers help to move frogs and salamanders across the road to their springtime breeding grounds. <laughs> well, a car just went by, hopefully not crushing any amphibians. <laughs> This research and conservation effort helps reduce amphibian roadkill and brings awareness to population decline from vehicles. Katie tells us that Jillian has been learning about amphibians at her school, Caroline Elementary. She's excited how passionate Jillian is about this conservation effort. If us coming out at 10 o'clock at night on a school night is going to keep that fire going, then it is well worth it. It is all she's been talking about for weeks now. <laughs> Oh. oh my gosh, look, there it is. You don't need to pick them up. One of the greatest threats to these salamanders on these migratory nights are vehicles. Often roads have been built separating the salamanders' home in the wooded upland area from their breeding grounds in the wetlands. They tend to move all together in a concentrated migration. So that's a lot of animals moving at once. They generally move in the early evening which happens to be when there's greater traffic. Leanne Conda is an associate professor of biology at Ithaca College. She's researching the movement patterns of yellow-spotted salamanders and their long-term survival rates, which can be up to 20 years. Conda is tracking the health of the population on Thomas Road. She has spent years microchipping spotted salamanders, injecting a tracking chip into their abdomens, which can be detected by a computer or chip reader. Over the years, I've tagged almost 100 spotted salamanders. And uh, by tagging, I mean that we are actually injecting into them a microchip, just like you inject a microchip into your dog or your cat. Conda injects this microchip into the salamanders and then returns the salamanders back where they were found two blue coolers containing computers and batteries act as an automated reader detecting tagged salamanders as they pass by antennas at the shoulder of the road. When a tagged salamander moves to their breeding ground across her reader, it pings on her computer and she can collect data like what time and when the salamander showed up. And then every time the salamander walks across my wires, the reader picks it up. Conda has been gathering data at this site for 10 years, and her preliminary findings are that only about 10 of her tagged 100 salamanders show up each year, suggesting that only 10% of her sampled population have survived. Conda's research will show if the spotted salamander population is in trouble. And if it is, that will give us some ammunition to try and push for some stronger conservation efforts uh, that require um, political policy and money. Due to the varying spring weather, this year's migration is still taking place across our region. On a warm rainy night this spring, you might just see some of these salamanders crossing your path. Nancy Coddington, WSKG News.